Hey guys, I want to talk to you about the React Nano Degree program and specifically uh, just nano degrees in general and what to expect. As you can see, I'm logged in. I, I recently purchased the React Nano Degree. This unlocks in minus three days. Basically, on the 25th, I am able to uh, access the content. And uh, this is my first nano degree program. It's actually the first course I've ever paid for, but I, I'm pretty excited about it. And so why did I why did I do this? Well, why did I take the React Now degree program? Well, one, the skills that are being taught in it are some of the most in demand and highest paying skills. So that that's one reason I'm deciding to learn that. And what that is is React, React Native, and um, Redux. From here, we'll actually be building three projects, and that's pretty cool, man. Even though it says two projects here, you're actually built three, and on top of it, you get extracurricular stuff as well. So um, extra lessons in ES6, which is something I want to get better at, asynchronous JavaScript, which is really important, getting GitHub, and then pers personalized feedback in which you get practice for the interview, help you network, and resume feedback, which is all great stuff, man. It's one of the reasons I'm really attracted to the nano degree program. One of the, one of the other reasons I decided to actually take this program, other than I wanted a very organized route. I, I've been doing the self-taught path, and this is still self-taught to a degree, but I've been just kind of pulling from YouTube and from, from wherever to kind of put my knowledge together. I wanted to kind of be able to sit back and this is what, you know, somebody tells me it's important, let's study it and take their word for it. And I think I think Udacity is a, um, a great place to do that. And I think they've shown that over the, the years. So you'll see we have an introduction, uh, probably breaking down the course, kind of how it flows. You'll have quizzes, you'll have projects, you'll have you know, coding challenges. Uh, then we're gonna go over the fundamentals. Then we're gonna get into React and Redux. Then we're gonna get into React Native. Uh, React Native is pretty cool. It's kind of what attracted me to React in the first place. If you're not familiar with what it is, it essentially is the ability to write a web application in React and then have it compiled down into an iOS or Android app. So basically you get kind of a two for one which is one of the reasons I think React developers are in, in such high demand. Another thing that I was really, that, that got me to sign up for this is that not only do you have, not only do you have live feedback if, you have, if you're struggling from the, the people uh, at Udacity to help you through it, you also have 24 hour project review. And what that means is, say you build a project that you can, you can submit it, and a React developer will review it and give you feedback about how to better improve it. And that is a huge benefit because it's the small things in these projects that will make you stand out. And you know, maybe you're doing some, some syntax slightly incorrectly, or maybe you're, maybe there's a, a, a chance for you to blow a potential employer away by implementing one quick thing that you maybe missed in the project or you know, just got dropped last week or whatever the case may be. But that's what I'm really looking forward to is the, maybe somebody to bounce questions off of and someone to review my projects moving forward. Uh, as you can see, I still have a couple days. I wish they opened up now. I really do. It's kind of it's kind of like, damn, well, what, I guess I'll just work on Angular for the next couple weeks. A couple days, rather. But I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, just as a reminder, it, I'm not sure when this video is going out, but as of the 27th of July, this is only $300. Normally, it's $500, which is another thing that uh, I kind of lucked out on and got. And you can see they give you this nice countdown say sorry. Uh, but I'm pretty excited about it. I'll, uh, I'll be doing multiple videos reviewing the program in each section. I think, is, I think that's how I'm going to do it is uh, we'll kind of consider this the introduction section because I, I imagine that this is going to not, the React introduction section is going to be fairly decent. I might do, I, I'll probably combine this part of the video uh, with this part just because uh, it's going to be pretty basic. And then I'll do a video for the React and Redux and then I'll do one for React Native and then I'll do an overall one. But I do think that it's important to kind of do a multiple review process of this so that you guys can track my progress. It's expected that it's going to take, if you devote about 12 hours a week, and they say somewhere between 10 and 15 uh, is what uh, they'll recommend, but about 12 hours, it will take you four months to complete. That, that's by their, their rubric. I'm hoping to get it done in two. That is my goal, uh, two or less. And I think if I, if I work at it steadily and already 
kind of working as a developer in, in JavaScript frameworks, I might be able to pick it up quicker than someone who's maybe starting from scratch. But I'm really excited about it. And if you haven't decided what you want to do, I would say consider the nanodegree programs. Not this specific React nanodegree program, but there are other ones that are like $200 a month, $300 a month, but they guarantee you your money back if you can't land a job within six months of completing the degree. That's how confident they are. So it's really kind of a low risk, high reward situation. And I know $300 a lot is a month, but you do get the feedback. You do get someone to bounce these ideas off of, and you do get help along the way and a job. You know, they, they make you job ready, which is one of the cool things. You know, it's crazy thing is that here we have a nano degree program with the career personalized feedback where they're reviewing your resume, they're helping you practice for interviews, and they're helping you network. These are all things that colleges don't do or do very poorly. Like who's really got a job from their college office or an internship or, or anything like that? It's very rare. Everything I've done successfully in these three areas has been my own research and feedback and YouTube and things like that. And I'm, I'm very glad to see that a, uh, a secondary education place is going to get you, help you with that. And it looks like there's eight projects in this section as well. So by the end of it, you'll have 11 projects or 10, if this is uh, misspoken, but I, I think it's just an error here. So you'll have a lot of projects if you do the extracurricular. And I encourage you to, don't take a don't take something like this and not do the entire thing. Because what you want to be is the best developer you can be. And if you, they're giving you these great resources, please take advantage of them. There's a lot of people that go into boot camps that think that, oh, I'm just gonna go to a boot camp, I'm gonna skate by. That's not how this, this, this software game works. When I interviewed on Engineer Truth's channel, someone commented, Sounds awful to have to be learning all the time. If that sounds awful to you, this is not the field for you because that's really what it, it takes to be a successful developer long term. And it should be enjoyable. To me, hell sounds like the place where I do the same thing every single day. So when I go home and I study these things and I'm working with new stuff at work, <laughs> it's exciting. And when you get this extracurricular stuff, you shouldn't look at it like, oh, fuck, man, I already got my nano degree. I don't need this. No, you should be excited to become a better developer. <coughs> and in return, <coughs> your stock goes up. Your value goes up. You can make more money. You can, get, you can become a better developer, get a job quicker, all this sort of great stuff. So t take advantage of that if you decide to do your nano degree program. But that's my sort of introductory review. <coughs> my next review, I, as I mentioned, I'll review Introduction and React Fundamentals. And uh, it sounds like, if I understand correctly, I'll have a project built at the end of this, and I'll have a project built at the end of this, and I'll have a project built at the end of this. And if that's the case, I'll be showcasing each one of my projects uh, in one of those videos in a final wrap-up video. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the the video. For the keyword today, we'll use nano degree. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget, uh, for uh, the keyword is for the giveaway. We're going to be giving away one of Stephen Grider's uh, React courses. Uh, thank you to him for sponsoring it. There's a link to all his other courses in the description. But as always, guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Join our Facebook group, Kotec Caffeine, and uh, Discord channel. And Patreon. That's dope also. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.